What poor swine did you send into the swamp? His name was Lance. I am afraid he did not get very far. Nefarious told me about a flood. It is written that Adonos himself descended from heaven to punish the unbelievers and banish them to the realm of the dead, aroused by his holy wrath. He let the sea fall upon the builders of this city and swept them away. The swamp to the east still bears witness to these events of the past. What could have made Adonis so angry? The temple of this city was once a great, glorious structure. Everyone honored it and prayed to our god, Adonis. Rademus, the son of the commander Quahodron, desecrated the temple. As a result, one after another fell victim to evil. I suspect that Adonis would not forgive this, and his revenge fell upon the land. This makes it even more important that we stop Raven. He is about to do exactly the same thing. Can you teach me the circles of magic? You are a magician of fire. What would Pyrocar say about that? No one needs to know. I see that you are serious, so I shall comply with your request. However, should I get the impression that our knowledge is in the wrong hands, you will no longer be able to count on my help. So you had better not disappoint me. I want to learn a higher level of magic. It is still too soon for you. Come back later. May Adonos protect you. there. Nothing there. Nothing there.
You're in for it now. Nothing, nothing there, nothing to, to be had there. Nothing to be had there.
Nothing to be had there. Halt, friend or foe. Friend. Anyone can say that. I don't know you. What do you want here? What are you doing here? What does it look like? I must see to it that these miserable wretches gets the palisade built in time. If they don't, Captain Greg will kick my ass all over the place. Also, I keep strangers from traipsing in here just like that. Greg's your boss? He sure is, and it's Captain Greg to you. Have I made myself clear? He's a great man. If you meet him, be careful not to get on the wrong side of him. You won't live long enough to regret it. He's not in the camp right now, though. Francis is in command for now. He sits in front of Greg's hut all day and goggles at us working. What are you building the palisade for? Well, we don't want to make it too easy for the bandits. Those bastards are getting more brazen all the time. They've been sneaking around our camp for days now, just like sharks after a shipwreck. Some of those good-for-nothings are holding up in the tower a little south of here. But that's only an advance party, I'm sure. If they're really stupid enough to mount an attack, we'll give them a welcome they won't forget. Why would the bandits attack you? Because there's war between them and us. What did you think? Everything was peachy at first. We brought them here, they marched right into their swamp and left us alone. But now, those bastards attack anyone who's not one of them. Heaven knows what's gotten into them. I reckon they may be after our boats. There's no other way to get out of here after all. You should ask Skip about this. He's been with them and barely got away with his life. He's got quite an interesting tale to tell. Too bad you can't hear it, though. <laughs> you haven't paid your toll after all. I want in there. Really? That'll cost you, though. 500 gold pieces. And you look like someone who's got gold on him. So a small contribution is not gonna kill you? Or did you steal those posh rags of yours? Can't we come to an agreement somehow? Well, give me a good reason and I might make it cheaper for you. I'm supposed to bring Morgan this meat. Aha, <laughs> and who sent you? Alligator Jack. He says that Morgan is already waiting for it. I see. Not in the mood himself, is he? Malcolm sent me. He says the wood may take a while. Oh, great, I might have known. It's taken forever again. About those bandits in the tower. Yes? They're a history. Did you pull that off all by yourself? Respect! Maybe you'll even be a real pirate someday. Let me in. Mm. You brought me a message from our woodcutters. You want to play errand boy for Alligator Jack and bring the swamp rat meat to Morgan. And best of all, you got that vomit in the tower off our backs. 
I never thought you could do it all by yourself. A hundred gold pieces, or you just get lost. It's as simple as that. Good. Here's your gold. Thanks. Welcome to our camp. If you were planning to sign on with us, lad, you're out of luck. Only the captain decides who gets to sign on in here, and he took half the crew and went to sea after booty. But you can stay until he's back, provided you don't cause any trouble here. Yeah, he really said that. Telling you what have we here? A fresh face, and not one of those filthy bandits, I hope. I'm Garrett. If there's anything you need, ask me first. I can get you almost anything. Wine, weapons, and other stuff you might need, except for booze. If it's a decent drink you want, go see Samuel. Who's Samuel? He's our moonshiner. He's got his cave on the beach, a little distance from the camp. You can't miss it. Just walk north. You'll be well advised to keep yourself supplied with grog. Some of the boys here aren't very fond of greenhorns at all, if you get my drift. A decent swig of grog can work wonders for you. Where do you get your supplies? Skip always brings loads of stuff from Corinnus when he visits there. Until recently, he used to sell some of it directly to the bandits. But since we've been at war with the bandits, I'm the one who ends up with all the stuff now. <laughs> Things I can tell you. What do you know about the bandits? You'd better ask Skip about that. He's been through quite a lot with that bunch. Let me tell you, Greg has given orders to do away with any bandit who shows up near the camp. You're Captain Greg. What's he like? He's a tough old bastard and no doubt about it. And greedy to the bone. He makes Francis, our treasurer, pay out not a penny more than what it takes to prevent a mutiny. And if one of us ever gets his hands on something really valuable, he'll inevitably take it for himself. I once took a compass from a royal frigate. That bastard Greg made me hand it over, of course. But he probably buried it somewhere, just like the rest of his treasures. Where might Greg have buried that compass? Greg once told me that Death himself watches over my compass. Then he laughed. Anything else? There's a beach at the southern coast. It can only be reached by sea. Greg is said to have been there often. Maybe you'll find something there. I once went there to see what I might find myself, but the area is teeming with monsters. If you really want to give it a try, don't forget to bring a pick. What can you what tell me about Francis? Greg put him in command while he's gone. But Francis that. is a total failure as a leader. He can't even get Morgan to stir his lazy ass out of bed. Henry and his boys are the only ones doing anything around here. The others are just enjoying themselves instead of working. I can only hope that Greg will come back soon. He'll give them all a good swift kick in the ass. You can't rely on that. Anything new? Nothing ever happens anymore since Greg left. Show me what you have. It's a bad business. That's no secret. New here, are you? Great. We can use every man. How are things? Right now. All's quiet in the camp, so I'm going to relax a little. And if I were you, I'd do the same. Since the bandits are here now, the situation may change faster than we like. What do you know about the bandits? You mean besides the fact that they're a deadly menace and outnumber us by far? Yes. They're rolling in gold. Well, at least they were rolling in gold. They never paid for their last shipment. But I doubt that it's because those bastards ran out of gold. Huh. <laughs> it's more likely that they've gotten way too big for their boots. There, a newbie and a landlubber at that. You're a bit scrawny for a pirate. Can you teach me something? Teach you? You bet. I could teach you to become stronger and improve your dexterity. But why would I want to do that? 
Because I'll buy you a drink. Not bad, kiddo. Got it. First try. But don't even bother to bring me some cheap rot gut. I'll get you some grog. Are you trying to poison me? I'm not touching that mock. Do you have any idea what's in there? Old Samuel has some good stuff as well. Go get me some of that. Have you ever tried Samuel's special recipe? No, not yet. Then have a go at it. It's a must try. How oh, I love this concoction. Anything new? Wait a moment. Not as far as I can see. Same old, same old. Same old thing, all over again. Nobody will learn. Anything. Hey, you! How's it going? I can't complain. It's a bit boring, but at least I don't have to work. I'm preparing for the next task that Greg's given me. What task? I mustn't say. No offense, kid, but I've worked hard for the privilege, and I don't want to lose it again. Can you teach me something? I'm sorry. I've got no time right now. I've got some training to do. Who around here can teach me something? Henry and Morgan are leading our raiding troops. They can teach you how to be a better fighter. Henry's people all use two-handed weapons. Morgan prefers the faster one-handed weapons. Who else? Beats me, I've never been interested in anything else. But I'm sure that Alligator Jack or Samuel could still show you a trick or two. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there.
I think I've found something.
<laughs> hey. Here's your compass. Yes, that's me. it. I never thought I'd see it again. Thanks, Nobody man. This time Greg won't get a hold of it again. Here, take this belt in return. It's my most valuable piece. <laughs> Things I can tell you. It's a bad business. Eh, been there, done that. He would have never thought of that himself. What have we here? Crossing the path of old Skip again? I know you. The bay near the city, remember? Skip, right? I see I made a lasting impression. But I've seen your mug elsewhere in the meantime. But of course! Oh well, not a great likeness, but it's certainly you. Don't let it get to you. My own wanted poster looks just as daft. What are you doing here? I've just come back from Corinnus, and now I'm waiting for Greg to return. He would have never thought of that himself. I saw Greg and Corinnus. Really? Damn. Something must have gone wrong then. He should have been here with our ship some time ago. I suppose I should go back to Corinnus and wait for him there. Ah, but certainly not Is today. I only just arrived here. He simply needs what can you tell me about the bandits? The bandits? If they are attacking us! Why do you think we're building this palisade? <laughs> we brought those scumbags over here ourselves. We used to trade with them. Boy, let me tell you, they've got more gold than they'll ever know what to do with. They were prepared to pay any price for a bottle of rum. But those times are past. It's war now. What happened? Those bastards hadn't reach? paid for their last shipment. So I went there to see what Same had become of our gold. But when I got to the swamp, the swine attacked me. And that's people. not all. They killed Angus and Hank, two of our true. best people. Just stay away from that swamp, that's I tell you. I They'll go after anyone who doesn't look as shabby as they do. You don't have to tell me that. Have you ever met Raven? Certainly. When I was with Henry up at the gate, I watched Raven place some Nobody of his boys at the know. tower to the south. Just a stone's throw from Nobody our camp. <laughs> I guess they're supposed to spy on us. I've, I've also seen how he treats his people when they don't do his bidding. He'll make short shrift of anyone who doesn't obey his orders uh, to the letter. Mark my words, stay well away from I've Raven. Tell me more about Angus and Hank. Angus and Hank were supposed to meet with some bandits in front of the camp. They were carrying all kinds of supplies. Everything those bastards had ordered from us. Forged steel and lockpicks and whatnot. But they never came back. The bandit swine must have done away with them. Morgan and Bill went out to look for them without any success. Bill was pretty devastated. They were both friends of his. He's still young. These things really get to him. Things would have turned the out rest different. of us took it in our stride. The goods we can afford to lose. But the grog they were carrying. We're talking at least 20 bottles. It's a bad About Angus and Hank? What? I found them. They're dead. <laughs> dead as doornails, poor devils. Well, it was only to be expected. You should tell Bill, if you haven't done so yet. But break it to him gently. He's Nobody still young. Anything from me. I uh, need bandits' armor. You want to go in there? Are you insane? Once those guys find out, you're not one of them. You're you sausage meat. Do you have any idea where I could I find armor like myself. that? Ah, you don't give up easily, do you? All right. We used to have a suit. Greg's probably still got it somewhere, up in his hut. Maybe you can buy it from him when he gets back. Can you tell me how to get into his hut? Whoa there. Not so fast. You weren't thinking of ransacking Greg's stuff, were you? When he left, he gave the key to Francis and told him not to let anyone into his hut. What can you tell me about Francis? Francis is our treasurer. The captain trusts him. That's probably why he left him in command. But none of the boys here really take him seriously. If you want to know more, talk to Samuel. He's got his still in the little cave north of here. There isn't a soul in this camp Samuel doesn't know all kinds of things about. 
Will it ever change? About that grog. You're missing 20 bottles, right? <laughs> yes, damn it. My entire stock. All that matters is strength. Can you take me to Corinnus? No way. Uh, I'm not leaving I'm now. Down. I'll find myself a decent swig of grog you first. Really said that. Have you got anything Don't to sell? To tell me if you that. want to trade, go to Garrett. He's in charge of our supplies. <laughs> That'll never change. Yeah. I must get into Greg's hut. Forget it. Greg's not there. And I've locked the door. And now I see to it that nobody sneaks around here to do a little looting. So make yourself scarce. Or I'll let you have it. Greg is your boss? Now don't try and tell me that you know him. Any sailor, even any cursed landlubber on this island, knows the terrible Captain Greg. And he left me in command. I'm responsible for making those lazy bums do what he commanded. Some of the boys may think they can do whatever they damn well want now that the captain's not here. Won't they be surprised when Greg comes back? I'll tell them everything that's been going on here. Got it? Including who's been trying to get into his hut. So make yourself scarce, or you'll be in a load of trouble. Give me the key to Greg's hut. You must be joking. Well then, let's see what you got. What? I'm the captain here. I'll teach you respect, you landlubber. Thank you. 